I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Smothered Season 3, Episode 4. If you were new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, uh, welcome back. So we starting off with Angelica. Her blood pressure keeps on rising and they're giving her medication to help bring it down in hopes to bring it down. Now Jason, he is upset because he wants to be there for the birth of his child. But since son, he is whispering in Angelica's ear that she should be there and not Jason. But Angelica's talking about some I wish Jason could be here. And I was like, you know how Jason can be there for you and the baby? Sending your mama home. That is the way that Jason can be there for the birth of his child. Now, I can see both Jason and son, he's side of the story. Jason, this is your first child. You, I can tell Angelica's side too. I want my, my fiance to be there to, for the birth of our first child. But also at the same time, I want my mama there as well. But it's like, who do you choose in this situation? My thinking it would be, it should be my child's father there to be there with me holding my hand and all these other things as we bring in our child into the world and i believe that the blood pressure has a lot to do with the stress that is going on with everything them being engaged her mom wanting to move in with them jason's mom wanting to move in with them as well and how his mama don't really like her we don't really like the way the son he treats him and son he she makes it perfectly clear that she don't want to be in jason's house at all. She just wants to be hers, Angelica, and the baby. Now, Karina, she out here is sabotaging her own love life because Amy doesn't have one. Now, she tells us she had a date with a dude and her mama, Amy, had a date with a dude. What they was going to do is both go to the same restaurant. You have your date over there. I have my date over here. Well, since Amy's date fell through, Karina was like, well, I'm not going to go on my date. And Amy is realizing that, like, yeah, my closeness with my daughter is starting to affect her love life. And she's not really here for it. She wants her daughter to be out there, have a love life, you know, find somebody to get married, have kids. And don't be so worried about what I got going on in my life, whether I have, you know, a significant other or, or, or that. Now, Don out here making whole sex packages for her daughter. Yeah, she got this whole plan. Okay, share, you go over there, put it on Jerry real good, and hopefully that he will, you know, allow you and Belle to stay in Florida for a few more weeks. Since Cher does not feel comfortable having sex in her mother's house, which I don't know who would, like, that's, you know, it's awkward. Who wants to do that? Don and got them a whole little place for them. Y'all go over there and do what y'all need to do. And to add the cherry on top, here's a little care package. We got some massage oils, a booklet of different positions, some chocolate covered strawberries, maybe a toy here and there, lingerie that she may or may not have worn, that type of situation. Now I'm like, you go in there to be intimate with your husband. You don't want to have the thought of my mama has made us this package for us to get our love making gone. Yeah. So we moving over to Lauren and Lisa. Now, this whole Lauren taking a bubble bath while on FaceTime with her mama is not nothing new. When she lived at home okay it's the end of the day i'm gonna take me in this nice little bubble bath my mama she's over in the vanity you know putting herself together doing whatever she was doing so that's that's something they've done for a long time but lisa was like yeah it's been like two weeks since you know i didn't inseminate you why don't you hop out of that nice luxurious bath and go pee on this stick and take this pregnancy test but like my mind be elsewhere. I was like, girl, the screen on your your um iPad is dirty. You should have got you like 
uh, uh like a little wipe to, to clean your screen off right quick before you know you was on tv like was this morning time because it was like I mean, I know you can take a bubble bath at any time of day. You just feel like it. But I was like, when I hear about baths and stuff like that, it's either morning or evening. But I was like, it looked like it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And she's sitting here taking a bubble bath. I mean, I know that's not the thing that we should have been focusing on. But that's how my mind be working. Back over there with Sunhee and Angelica and new baby Amara. Sunhee is the name the one the one who named the baby. So we just excluding Jason from the whole being able to be there for his child's birth, the name of the baby. I'm not even sure if Angelica had any say on what the baby's name was gonna be. I'm just saying. Angelica makes a statement how it was so wonderful because my mom, she just, you know, massaged my back all evening. I don't think Jason could have handled that. And I was like, well, we'll never know because y'all didn't give him an opportunity to do that. If you don't let him participate in certain things, how will you ever know whether he was going, what he was and wasn't going to do? It's like she's. She wants Jason there, but at the same time, my mom is doing these things for me, and I don't know if Jason would do those things for me, but, like, will we ever know because you didn't give this man a chance? But, like, after the baby has been brought into this world, now all of a sudden... So he talking about some, oh, well, yeah, that, now they talking about more than one person can be here for the people who were having babies. So, did they, like, when did this happen? I'm, I'm not so certain that that was, I'm, I'm starting to think the son he even just told Jason, yeah, we can only have one person here. And since I rode here with her, you know, I get to stay. But all of a sudden, now the baby Amara is born, looky here. Bam, boom, they letting other people up here too. So now that I've got to experience the birth of your first baby and not you, now you can come and hold the baby and do all those things. I'm like, for real, son, he. Now, Laura has to, Lauren has to tell, I'm going to tell you, it's too many L's. Lauren tells Laura Lee that. Um, not only does she want to continue on trying to have a baby, but my mama has already inseminated me two weeks ago. It's like, it was no big deal. I was ovulating and we thought, what the heck? It's like, one, how does your mom know your ovulation schedule? I don't know about y'all, but my mama don't know mine. She don't know nothing about that. But why does your mama know your ovulating schedule? Laura's upset because she said, you went behind my back and did this. Okay. Two, you did this with your mom. And three, you didn't consider doing it with me. Like, you you doing all kind of sneaky stuff. Like, she's like, well, Laura was like, Lauren was like, well, it would have been the same if I had been at the doctor. My mom would have been there holding my hand. Laura leaves her upset because, like, your mom has been, every, has been in every aspect of our lives. This is something we they should have done together. Like, every time she wants to be a part of their journey, she's pushed to the side. And your mom is, like, the third wheel of our marriage. Like, she's getting frustrated. She's getting upset. I know that's basically the same thing. It's like, I'm tired of this. You going by behind my back. We said we was going to hold off for financial reasons. And then you go behind my back and... You let your mom inseminate me. So I'm just excluded from that whole process. It's like. It's like. She has two wives. But she's being pushed to the back. It's like. You more concerned about how your mama feel. About our relationship. Than what how I feel. And I like. I totally agree with that. Now like. I know some of y'all are not liking Smother. But I'm trying to bring in. More shows. That like I would not normally watch. When I first heard of Smother, I was like, I got to see what's going on here. Cause y'all, I love my mama. Me and my mama are close. And I've told you this time and time again. I could just be 
at my mama's house and us watching something on TV, just chilling. I'm on my laptop, she on her laptop, or we watching something, just chilling and having a good time. But we not out here doing like the extraordinary stuff like giving each other bikini waxes, sharing bath water and all these other things. My mama insemin inseminating me. We not doing things like that, but we can just chill and watch TV and just have a good time. So y'all, that was a just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you were new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so my beautiful Facebook a video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, uh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. And tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.